Hey, what's up? Today, I'm gonna show you a single kettlebell workout that is not only a great Metcon sequence, but is also one of the things that I give clients when they're getting better acquainted with the snatch technique. And really, what we're gonna be working on here is getting comfortable with the bell overhead and dropping it back down into the back swing. So here's the sequence. We're gonna do five swings, clean, press or push press. All right, we're gonna hold that overhead position for a couple of seconds to a couple of breaths. And then we're gonna drop it right on back down into the back swing for four swings, clean, press, three swings, clean, press, two, and then one. So I am going to demonstrate a few straight on, a few from the side, and again, this is not only a great cardio strength sequence, but it's a great way to begin practicing dropping the bell from this overhead locked out position down into the hips, which is super key for snatch technique. Okay, so let's take a look. Starting with five swings. Clean. Now the idea here is to stabilize, get comfortable in this position, keep this bicep close. And now we're gonna drop right back down into the back swing for four. Let me show you from the side. Drop down to the hips and then we're going down to three. Face this side, going down to two. And last one. We're gonna drop into the backswing and then park it. And there you have it. So, if you wanted to amp that up a little bit, obviously you could like just keep doing five swings for every um, like you know round every time through. Uh, you could also keep that overhead lockout and just walk around a little bit. That's killer as well. But that's the idea behind the sequence. So we're patterning the fast hip snap. We're getting lots of great overhead lockout work. And especially for snatch technique, the most important thing is we're practicing the drop from overhead, catching into the fingers, into the backswing, and that is where, you know, a lot of the hand problems crop up, is that shift from the overhead lockout back into the backswing. So, that's a great sequence for you to practice. If you're getting into your snatch technique, if you're in those beginning stages where you wanna get some good practice, some good work in, but without risking tearing up your hands. Enjoy.